What is up guys? Welcome back to Ike Tech and Gaming. Today we've got a really awesome video, so let's jump right in. Alrighty, so today guys, this video actually isn't on the quadcopter that's sitting in front of you. You might think it is, and it kind of is, but it really isn't. The real star of this video is this stuff right here called Corrosion X. Now Corrosion X is a spray can of stuff that is a anti-corrosion, anti, like, it's basically souped up WD-40, if you know what that is. It's a lubricant. It makes things anti-conductive and anti-corrosive. So what a lot of people use this for is waterproofing electronics. Now, we're going to go to the extreme here today. I'm going to move some of this off to the side because I don't have a whole lot of space. We are going to waterproof this quad. Now, I've waterproofed one of those little tiny um, indoor helicopters before. But I want to step it up a little bit now. So we are going to waterproof this quad to the point where hopefully we'll be able to, like, submerge it in water and see if it'll fly. Now, this isn't my top-of-the-line quad. It's been pretty beat up. I'd love to let this thing survive. So we're going to do our best to um, let this thing survive. So I've got some materials here. I've got some plastic because this stuff gets messy. It's just a plastic bag. I'm going to lay down. And I've also got paper towels because, like I said, this stuff gets really messy and the uh, the light focus is going really weird. So I'll be right back. I'll set all this up and uh, we'll take a look at how we're going to apply it and then eventually we'll uh, see how it turns out. All right, so we've got our uh, plastic underneath, our paper towels on top, and our quad is getting ready to be uh, fixed with this stuff. So the first thing you want to do is make sure everything is clean. I've already done so most of the part, all the PCB and all of the board is clean. Um, remove any batteries or anything before you coat it. Um, then you're going to take your corrosion x ray and you're going to take out your little thing, shake it up a little bit, insert the uh, Once it's all properly coated, including the battery connections, leave it sit for a couple minutes, dry it off, and then we're going to go check it out. So I'm going to get all that done, and uh, we're going to head into our testing facility. I probably should have showed you that it run, that it run, that it ran before, but uh, you're just going to have to trust me. It did run. I'll fly it before I, uh, before I put it in water, but uh, we're going to go check that out. We'll go over there and... Uh, Hopefully we uh, have made a waterproof quad, more or less. Hopefully. Please. Alrighty guys, so we're ready to go. There's a little bit of noise because the water heater is on over here. This is the biggest sink I got. So we filled it up with water. You can see my GoPro sitting down inside there so we can get a good view. Quad is working. I don't know if you can hear that, but I'm going to fly it into the water and uh, see what happens. So see if I can pilot it into the water. Got it crashing. Oh, I need to trim it. Alright, here we go. Whoa.
right, it's in the water. You can see the lights are still on on it. Let's try to, uh, are the frequencies not gonna let it? Oh, it's flashing. I don't know if that means it lost frequency. I think we lost connection, so I'm gonna reach down, pick it up. Oh, I think it regained. Look at that, it still works. That quad was completely submerged. Look at that. It just loses connection through the water. Take it back out here. Still works perfectly fine. What did I tell you guys? Wasn't that pretty awesome? I think it was. Now, a lot of you guys are going, well, Michael, it's not that awesome if you can't control it once it hits the water. Well, the point of this video and this little project was not to make a quad to fly underwater. This video was to demonstrate the awesome power of this product, Corrosion X, and to be able to show you guys how you can make a quad that, let's say I was flying this around, and it fell in a lake, or it fell in a pond, or it started raining, and my quad wouldn't be completely ruined by water. You saw that it was on and running, and went in the water, the lights stayed on while it was in the water, I took it right out of the water, and it still worked perfectly fine. If you look right here, it's still wet. It's still dripping water, and I can plug it in. If I can plug in the battery connector, right? And look at that. Perfect lights. Fire up the controller. And it's still a perfectly functioning quad. So if you guys like videos like this and you want to see more of this kind of video, please leave a like. Comment, tell me what you guys think about this, and subscribe to my channel to keep up to date on awesome videos just like this one. I really appreciate when you guys leave some feedback, so go ahead and do that, and until the next video, see you guys later.